everybody. Welcome to Badge Banter, where we feature some amazing stories about the importance of the ID badge as the foundation of an organization's overall security efforts. I'm Lindsay Martinez from Badge Pass, and I'm super excited to introduce you to today's special guest. Welcome, Jake Brown from Secure Access and Digital Systems. Hey, everyone. Thanks for having me, Lindsay. Absolutely. Glad to have you here. So Jake and I know each other from SIA, the Security Industry Association, where Jake serves on the RISE committee. He was the chair of RISE last year. If you're not involved in SIA, I highly recommend it. I know Jake would too. But um, now that we've plugged that sufficiently, Jake, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about secure access and digital systems and what y'all do? Awesome. So uh, like Lindsay said, Jake Brown, um, I oversee business development at Secure Access and Digital Systems. We are out here in Long Island, New York, about uh, 45 minutes from the heart of Manhattan. Um, and we're essentially a one-stop shop for all things photo ID. So we're a reseller slash channel partner for many trusted brands in the industry. Um, we sell ID cards, card accessories, and card printers and printer consumables. Um, that's it. That's really the uh, bread and butter of the business. And uh, we keep it niche and uh, we keep it simple. But uh, that's, yeah, that's really uh, that's what Secure Access and Digital Systems is. And I know we both uh, share a, a big passion for uh, photo ID in general. So I'm really happy to be here. Awesome. Well, that is very true. I am very passionate about that. And it's always great to have a fellow badging nerd on um, to chat with because there's just not that many of us when it comes to the security industry as a whole. So uh, today I'm really excited to kind of talk to you about security options around the badge design itself. So lately, I have obviously been involved in many discussions about the merits of physical ID badges versus mobile credentials. And recently, uh, something that always kind of comes up in those discussions is the security around the badge itself. So how can we ensure that a photo ID badge isn't duplicated easily? And so since ID systems are kind of your specialty, let's chat a little bit about features and badge design options, stuff like that, that you've seen customers implement that really help with the overall security of the card. Love it. Um, let, let, let's real quick mention that as an industry, I think, I think we all kind of hone in on the fact that the internal security of the card that the technology is very important and um that, that's that i think we both are passionate about that as well um but when you had asked me to come on in in uh let last week um immediately it was it was yes like i'm not i'm not passing this up uh but in the back of my head you know i know you have a bunch of episodes under your belt and um i was thinking like all right how how can i make this unique um how can we be creative and kind of hit on something that's not always spoken about on both the injury industry at large um, and also uh, the photo ID side of things. So uh, I thought I was working on a project with a client who actually uses a custom holographic laminate on all of their ID cards. And I was like, all right, wait, that's probably a really good way to not only, um, you know, have have a good piece of unique content for badge banter but to also make this sort of like an educational piece where we could just kind of converse about um how it adds you know a really good layer of security to the id card yeah absolutely so um talk a little bit about custom holographic laminates i love them because obviously they increase the durability of the card which is super important and something i think that we overlook a lot but more importantly, if it's a custom holographic laminate, it's very unlikely, it's actually pretty impossible, that someone's going to get their hands on that. Um, so, yeah, I've seen lamination uh, as a very common practice on our side of the industry, the photo ID side. Um, a lot of our clients do use uh, laminates on, and, and it's a clear type of laminate, um, on their ID badges. And, and Lamination in general is, is you know, to preserve and protect an object, a piece of paper, but on our side of things, it's to protect the ID card. Um, we can't control if someone bends an ID card, can't control if someone spills on it, can't control if someone goes outside and, uh, you know, gets caught in a nor'easter or uh, has, you know, rain and snow um, hit the ID card. So what the laminate does is it serves to protect and, and preserve the badge so that down the line, um, the end user can can save some money on badges and doesn't have to rebadge um, that certain individual. Absolutely. And so that's true of just all laminates, but then custom laminates kind of take it to the next level. And this really is where you can, from a security standpoint, really implement something that can't be duplicated. Because once you've created a custom laminate for a customer, like they own that. Um, and the manufacturer of the laminate has access to that design. But outside of that, 
it's not like anyone can go purchase that laminate and then recreate those badges from their home. Um, so I love that. We've had great opportunities to implement that in all types of verticals. But where do you see most of your customers that really love the custom laminate? Um, like which verticals do you have most success with that in? Really uh, big corporations, finance, um, K through 12 type of thing, colleges, all, all verticals, to be honest, because the custom laminate is a really good way to enhance the card security. So you're also getting a two for one. You're protecting the card with the actual laminate itself, but you're also, now you're introducing a visual element that, like you said, cannot be duplicated because of the fact that it's entirely custom. Uh, so, I mean, let's let's go back for a second. Badge Pass, you guys are very passionate about the fact that the badge should be worn properly at all times. Mm -hmm. it's fine. Um, it should be worn on your land. It should be worn on your pull reel so that it's visual at all times. I mean, companies invest a lot of money and time in their security staff. And this should be, you know, the ID card is something that tells them right away who should be in the building and, and who should not be in the building. Um, and what the custom holographic laminate does is it introduces another layer of security where that cannot be copied. It can't be counterfeited. Um, so not only does it give them kind of the, the trusted check that, that you should be in the building, but it also gives the other employees peace of mind um, that, you know, you, you are trusted to be in the building. And it's really freaking cool. It's good looking. I mean, think about how often you see custom laminates you see on your driver's license and secure government badges and stuff like that. And when you can add that element to your corporate badge design, um, it, it adds like a level of sexiness to your car design. It does. It does. And, uh, you know, employees like that. They like to have a cool looking ID card relative to just a generic one. And I think you honed on this earlier, but um, I do want to mention another thing that I find really neat about the custom laminate process is that the sale is central to usually one reseller or channel partner. The, the manufacturer, similar to like a Corp 1000 type of thing, the manufacturer, at least in my experience, will only sell that specific custom laminate to one channel partner, and then they'll sell it to the end user. And the end user is the one who authorizes um, the manufacturer to say, hey, you could purchase it from so-and-so, and that's it. So, you know, your average Joe cannot go on Amazon and just and buy this, number one. Number two, it's going to cost thousands and thousands of dollars and a lot of time to even try to come remotely close to um, counterfeiting that that hologram. It's just, it's, it's very difficult and in my experience, I've not seen that done anywhere, anywhere near as close as uh, the manufacturers can get it. I love it. Um, I think it's a great thing to touch on, especially because we just haven't had a conversation about that. And when it comes to the design of the badge, I mean, there's all types of stuff that people can implement. Um, I had the opportunity to visit HID last week and I got to see some of their like really secure badge production processes. And there's really cool elements that people add to cards, a lot of which are not even visual um, so you have to have something else like UV elements or things like that, where you have to have another device to validate that that's an, a, a real ID. Um, however, 99% of the world is looking for something visually. Can I see that that's a real card? Is that consistent with our badge design? And this is why I always encourage people to design more complex card designs. Like don't just throw your photo on there in the name, um, add some elements to it that visually would be harder to recreate. But the custom holographic laminate, I mean, you can see that. Uh, as soon as you see the card and you can tell if it has that shimmer to it. And then when you take a closer look, you can tell if it's actually your custom laminate or not. So I love it, that. It's cool because like the, the end user can design whatever they want. It could be logos. We've seen that. We've also seen um, something, you know, fit, like really simple designs like that. Back to what I was saying earlier, you know, a second grader or third grader can make. Uh, but the fact that it is unique and it's built as a, as a hologram uh, to be the laminate is, is everything. I mean, it, it cannot be copied or, or cloned or duplicated. Absolutely. So I think it's a great point. I'm super glad that you brought it up today. I love to talk cards so we could get into badge design and we could probably spend hours kind of bantering back and forth on that. Um, but in the interest of time, we won't. We'll save everybody from that conversation. Um, but thank you so much for bringing up the importance of more secure elements to the badge and keeping your badge protected and extending the life of that. I think that's a really great topic. I do too. And thank you for having me. I really enjoy the series. I enjoy the marketing that you guys put out and uh, I'm uh, blessed to be here. Well, thanks so much, Jake. I'm glad to have you. We hope you'll join us next time as we take you beyond the badge. Mm -hmm.